What's up guys, my name is Max and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how we built the front receiver for the box truck down here. Um, and this is going to be just a quick short little video to show you guys how we put this together. Um, but the real quick boilerplate disclaimer here. This is not a project you want to tackle unless you have a proper welder. Um, this is not a Harbor Freight, uh, you know, flux core 90 amp welder type job. This is heavy pieces of steel, you need to have proper uh, proper welder, and you need to be confident in your welding technique. Um, because we're going to build this front receiver so that I can put a, a front motorcycle mount on this truck, uh, or a front storage mount on the truck, um, that's going to see in excess maybe of 500 pounds. So it needs to be built right, it needs to be built strong. Um, and so as a result, you know, I'm confident in my abilities, but just because you see somebody do this on the internet, doesn't necessarily mean um, that it's safe and you're qualified to do this yourself. That being said, let me show you how I uh, how we're going to design this thing and, and get it installed here on the truck. It's not a particularly complicated project, um, but it does require you to have some pretty heavy duty materials on site. Um, and I'm going to talk about that as we kind of go through the thing. So the first thing I did down here was I took off the front bumper. It's just held on by these brackets right here. Uh, three quarter inch uh, head bolts just pops right off. I mean, the thing's pretty heavy, but um, just fell right off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use angle iron and we're gonna take off these nuts and we're gonna put a piece of angle iron here and likewise on the other side, run a tube across and then put the receiver right in the middle. Um, and what that'll allow me to do is we'll cut out this bumper because this is just sheet metal. Um, right in the middle and that way it'll be tied in and squared off against the frame uh, because it's a piece of angle iron is going to prevent deflection in either direction um, and it'll also give us a quasi front recovery point on the front of the truck again like I said I don't know that I'm, this truck probably weighs 15,000 pounds um, I don't know if I want to put 15,000 pounds on my little home built front receiver but it's nice to have an auxiliary uh, you know kind of a rescue point in the front um, so, that being said, let me grab uh, some materials and we'll cut some stuff out and get this going. So, what we did is we took these bottom bolts out um, and we cut out these brackets. This is a uh, quarter inch or maybe even three eighths uh, angle iron, three inch angle iron. Basically, we're going to drill it out, put it in right here, um, and then we'll be able to weld to the bottom of this and run our cross brace across. So there's our first mounting plate. Uh, it's in, you can see we got the other hole lined up as well. I don't know if we're gonna end up using it or not. Um, but these two obviously are pulled tight. Um, so that's okay, we got enough thread on this. This is almost all the way out the nut, so it's fine. Um, so now I'm gonna go and drill the second one um, and then we'll figure out our cross bracing situation. So this is two by three tube, fairly heavy wall. I got this at Harbor Freight for 12 bucks. It's just a... Uh, standard receiver tube so it's going to mount right here so all we got to do is grind the uh, powder coating off of this and then um, cut this out on both sides and then basically just um, stick it in there and weld it in uh, and try to get it straight the other thing is um, we're probably going to put it not like full extension we're going to trim this down slightly or uh, just leave it in the back for stability but uh, got to get this cut out. Probably just going to use a, a half angle grinder and just get it done real quick. So there we go. We got our receiver tube in. We basically end up using a plasma cutter to cut this out. A little die grinder action. Get the hole nice and set up. And then all I did was I took our little carpenter square and squared everything up. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, pull out the MIG welder and basically MIG weld the crap out of this so I never have to worry about it ever going anywhere and then we'll attach the brackets and bolt the whole thing in well this is as far as I got and then I ran out of wire rookie mistake I know um, but it's late in the day I don't feel like going to Harbor Freight to get more so we're just gonna leave it here for now um, and I'll come back to it later this week um, but basically what I did was I did a single pass all the way around and then I went back and did a much wider double root pass. I mean this is beefy as fuck and not going anywhere. Um, and as you can see it's really pretty straight. There might be a very slight twist to it. Um, but I think it's going to be just fine for what we're doing. So I'm just going to pack up for the day uh, and call it good. But I'm going to get another spool of wire and we'll finish welding this all up uh, another day. So here's basically a completed project. I just test fit this uh, 
with the mounts on the truck fits perfect so now all I gotta do is uh, finish welding these brackets on fully as you can see we did a double pass everywhere here it's not the most beautiful thing ever but it's gonna be strong as shit and um, we got these bolts uh, to fit as well so that's cool and then uh, just gonna have to hit this with some fly black and then we can move on to modifying the actual bumper to accept this thing behind it well there it is all welded up and painted we can just let this thing dry for a few uh, minutes and we'll go uh, hang it on the truck and as always it's starting to rain okay so here's the finished product basically we took our uh, receiver tube bolted it in um, then I plasma cut out a 3x3 three three inch square uh, a little gray spray paint make sure things don't rust bolted this uh, all back in the bumper back in used uh, some rib nuts to move the uh, License plate up about a half an inch so that it's, you know, clears the receiver tube. And that's pretty much it. We've got our receiver pinhole right here. We got our receiver. Um, and the beauty of this is we can put a motorcycle rack on the front of this. Uh, we could put a little barbecue grill on the front of this. Um, we could put just like a storage tray on the front of this. Um, pretty much the possibilities what you can put on the front of this thing are, are, are endless. Um, plus it gives us another recovery point. I'm gonna get a, a, a big old D-ring that'll live in there full-time But that's pretty much it simple little project. I accomplished it um, Maybe two hours total invested time over like three or four days just because uh, I ran out of materials and stuff like that um, So if you like this video hit the like button if you like the channel, please subscribe check out the other uh, base box playlist videos um there'll be a link in the description or whatever um and there are they're going to be amazon links in the description for some of the tools and some of the uh products that i use in this um they are affiliate links uh, if you do buy from those links you are supporting this channel and i appreciate it as always i'm max this is maxworks make sure to follow me on instagram snapchat uh, and facebook at maxworks uh, and feel free to reach out to me if you guys have any questions about anything you see in any of these videos peace